Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaiya has hit out against the central government, accusing it of stepmotherly treatment towards the southern states when it comes to allocation of funds. Centre asks 15th Finance Commission to use 2011 census data instead of using 1971 census data it has so far to determine devolution of taxes. This will further affect the interests of the South. We need to resist, tweeted the Congress leader while tagging the chief ministers of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Maharashtra and Puducherry. DMK working president MK Stalin wrote to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and chief ministers of 10 non-BJP rule states that the 15th Finance Commission's distribution of tax revenue will be affected. How now? Why he has uh, raised that subject, I don't know. What he is doing from last four years? When 15th, uh, 15th Commission, Finance Commission decided to allot the uh, money for the states, distributed the amount, at that time why he has not protested? Why he is questioning now? At the appropriate time, he has not approached the central government and protested. Now he is protesting because of political issue, he is protesting, I think. The Finance Commission is set up to decide the ratio in which central tax revenue should be divided among the different states every five years. All the states and union territories in India are collectively allocated 42% of the central taxes collected each financial year. The remaining 58% is for the centre to use for national purposes. But the ratio in which the 42% gets divided among the different states is decided by the Finance Commission depending on the population of the states. So uh, for every uh, rupee contributed by the Karnataka state, we are just getting back close to around some 65 to 70 paise. But whereas some, uh, somebody like UP who is contributing 1 rupee is getting back more than uh, close to around 2 rupees for, uh, for their contribution to the GDP. So that, uh, that is something that is uh, unfair. Up until now, the commission used to allocate funds based on population census from 1971. The latest commission though has been asked by the Narendra Modi led government to start considering the census of 2011. This will affect the southern states since they were able to check the burgeoning population while the north couldn't. However, it is funny that Siddharamaya is crying foul over the matter while he has been launching a barrage of bhagyas in the state. Anna bhagya, Kshira bhagya, Krishi bhagya, Sari and Panche bhagya and a lot of other bhagyas have been launched to give away food, clothes and medical facilities at heavily subsidized rates to people below poverty line. Isn't the centre trying to do the same? Take from the states that are doing well and give them to the poorer states so that they can catch up. You see the 13th commission of the UPA gave 88,583 crores to Karnataka while the 14th finance commission of the NDA gave Karnataka 2,19,506 crores which is an effective increase of 1.3 lakh crores. So what is Mr. Sidramaya complaining about? Insofar as his theory of South subsidizes the North is concerned, look at a city like Bengaluru. This district contributes nearly 70% of Karnataka's revenues. Does that mean Bengaluru is subsidizing all the other 29 districts of the state? You see, traditionally, as a matter of policy, those that are doing better help those that are not doing so well. And that is the true spirit of this democracy and federalism. So for a socialist like Mr. Sidramaya to say that the South subsidizes North effectively contradicts what he has stood for all his life, for equitable distribution, for socialism, for the reservations for uh, those that are lagging behind, the ahinda that he talks about, the minorities, Dalits and the OBCs, who he believes deserve a better share only to join the mainstream and to be able to uh, tag along and sail along with the rest. So Mr. Sidramaya effectively is contradicting himself, contradicting what he has stood for all his life, his socialism, only for the sake of these Karnataka elections. The metro city of Chennai contributes more in GDP and taxes than the rest of Tamil Nadu state. So can the same logic be applied saying Chennai city should not subsidize the other poor districts in the state? That isn't justified, is it? The centre isn't trying to deprive the southern states the benefits it rightfully deserves. Just giving the other states a little more for them to have a fighting chance. Similar to what Sidramaya is trying to do in Karnataka. 
and therefore it is not the center which is trying to create a rift between the north and the south but chief minister siddaramaiya who is fanning the north south divide after playing the religious game when the lingayat issue